What is the most important thing you can do for your garden and for your daylilies? Water. Today we're going to talk about um, fertilizer and soil testing and what the soil needs and what it all means um, for for us who's you know growing a garden or is interested in growing daylilies and you know it's just fun fun it's really fun to figure out you know what to add and making sure all your all your nutrients are right there are micronutrients as well that you might want to um, uh, get a real soil test done and they'll, they'll give you a breakdown of everything but for this video we're just going to uh, concentrate on on the NPK. Have you ever wondered the numbers mean on, on fertilizer like you have 2100 what those numbers represent is the percentage by weight so if it's 21 so it's 21 percent by weight of nitrogen. I always say NPK so I can always remember what order they are. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash. So when I'm at the store, I know what to get. Sometimes if you fertilize 16, 16, 16 over and over and over every year, you might get really heavy and any one of these nutrients can be toxic to your plants. So you just need to be careful. Again, just be careful. Um, but go out there and experiment. It's okay, it's okay. Here are my peppers. They have started to turn green because I have added aluminum sulfate and a sulfur to the ground. And you can see here the sulfur quite hasn't turned into sulfuric acid yet, but it will continue to do so over the next few months. We should wait for the pH to stabilize before we do a soil test, but I think I'm so deficient in, in one of the nutrients that I don't think it's going to really matter. Again, so we're going to go down. We're going to go down two or three inches. It's five to one. This this uh, soil kit this kit is five to one. So it's it's um one part soil, one part and five part water. Okay. Put it in here and then I'm gonna... There's my chicken. Hello chicken. Hello chicken. There we go. It says try not to touch it, so I guess there's some... Mix it for one minute. You're supposed to let it stand so it get clears, but it's not really going to matter. After one minute, then we should be able to, to, to um, uh, do a test. Here's what we collected earlier. It's kind of murky, but it'll be okay for what we're doing. And this is the soil test that I'm using. Um, it's a rapid test. Cost me under $20 for all these. There's a line right there. It comes in these uh, little pill capsules that you just open up and you pour the contents in into these containers. This is called a pipette. Shake it. Well, that seemed to work a little bit better. Fill it up.
What do you think that is? So I haven't put anything on the soil so far. And what if I put 16, 16, 16 on there? That would have been a disaster. That would have just, whoa, it's way too much. What do you think that is? It's a little low. Maybe okay. Maybe a little bit low, deficient. What do you think that is? Nothing. <laughs> so I need nitrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen. Uh, aluminum sulfate, because it's what makes flowers blue. Maybe it'll give me a little extra edge for that di blue day lily. Hmm. It was, <laughs> maybe, maybe the key was aluminum sulfate after all, all along. Why? Why is Carrie's daylily so blue? The Society for Daylilies, I'll put a link down below, the AHS. You get into daylilies and then you, you stay for the people. It's really fun. 